Hello, artists and art bros. I'm Brexy Ricotter and I'm currently studying at University of San Tomas. And now I'm at fourth year. So let me show you my plates and tell you my experiences in my third year. And I have classes at August 9th, so let's start right now. At Design Tree, I really like the consultations here because it's like mini defenses. We are telling Miss what are our intention for the designs. I also love my groupmates here. We throw our ideas back and forth. The highlight is McDonald's and WWF campaign. It's like a collaboration. And not only we got a whopping 97 out of 100 there, but we also had feedback from Miss, and she said that we could propose it to Magdo. So I'm really proud of our final plate. For advertising practice, we also got the same professor here from Ad Design. It's also like mini defenses because we showed our Google Excel sheets formatted from Miss. We've shown what our strategies are, our big ideas, our target market. We have some hits and we have some misses, but the big idea was the most difficult part because you have to make it consistent throughout the ideation to execution, which is just nuts to think about. I almost got the exact group from a design. The highlight for me is Miss was laughing at one of my captions for a plate, and she was also surprised that misinformation and disinformation are two different things. And I think that's pretty cool to pass out knowledge to other people. For DWS3, it was so difficult to create clean objects in Adobe Anime, but I really enjoyed creating animations and our professor is okay, but she's in another country so we've got different time zones and it was difficult to stay in touch with her. I love my final split in here. It's close to my heart because I sort of made this from my friend's uh, situation in their family. If you want to check it out, there's a link somewhere there. It is about a girl who grew up too fast because of future responsibilities. The ending will shock you. For our first elective, which is event planning, and I love this elective because I had two great groupmates, which are my friends, namely Denise and Bella, and it was cool to work with them and to consult with our professor because we had feedback almost in real time. But honestly, some instructions are hard to understand. So we just clear it up with our professor. The highlight for me was creating the 3D renders. It was really fun to explore the world of SketchUp. And even though I sucked, I enjoyed it a lot. For pen one, I don't like InDesign, so I didn't like this subject much. And anything you can do in Photoshop, you can basically do in InDesign, but 10 times worse. Our professor was okay, but I didn't consult much with her because I didn't enjoy using the program, so my plates aren't the best. And I somehow got, I think, 1.75. Don't tell my professor I didn't do everything in InDesign. I created the elements via Photoshop and then just paste it there. Work smart, brain fart. Highlight here is probably doing my portfolio in Adobe Express because I use that for internship. You can check out my portfolio at the description which I have always inserted on my video descriptions. And funnily enough, in this course, we got the same plate here and in my elective package design. For production methods, I don't like dioramas, so best believe I would not like this, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. I enjoyed the last plate here, and that is my highlight because of the satisfying feel, and I love escapism song that's cool and our professor here is okay for consultation but i feel like this is one of the subjects that, that i had the messiest art yeah you can see my process here in my youtube 
just check it out if you want to and i will link every video of my place here we also got minor courses here like sds and ethics but my highlights here is maybe organizing the files for our class because i was the class president during this term and let me say to you guys it's so stressing to be one and we go into second sem baby add chris pretty strong start this was the most difficult course that i have had it's actually difficult to do a thesis it's like giving birth because I did that baby and defended it, kind of. But I wasn't much help at the defense because we did something wrong in our designs and I actually agreed with my professor during the defense which got me zip. It was difficult to research about Ibong Adarna but it was even harder for our group because two of them were difficult to work with. And I only had chemistry in the same level of researching with one of my groupmates. I won't talk about their mishaps because I'm sure that I also have them. But this was the course that got me realizing why advertising art students have solo theses for fourth year. Artists work alone. The highlight was probably talking with my good teammate while researching. You know, I wasn't suffering alone so shout out to her but i won't tell any names it was also sad we couldn't consult to our professor as much because she was busy with her i think masterals and she was busy with her fourth year students so that was one of our group's pitfalls next is ad design 4 this was the last ad design course and it was also like a thesis, so technically we got two theses during the second term. We got on-site classes here every other week so that we'd ease in when we are going to school. Just going there. So I got nervous so much that I basically can't speak to my classmates back then because I haven't met most of them they're like strangers we got shuffled my highlight here is probably the first or the second day of on-site classes which we got upgrade agad agad naman sir take a long take a long take a long it was about one hour and 30 minutes of creating a poster ad for joy scissors for our group we had 82 and the lowest was 60 and 90 was the highest so we're in the midsection, so we'll take those. Our group for the whole sem, different group. We got five peeps there, and they were pretty good group mates, except one who was always ghosting us. Last design workshop course, and it was so freaking darn cool. I tell ya, I love animating in After Effects more than in anime because it's like Illustrator and then Premiere in one app and i freaking love it guys admittingly i had a difficult time at first because it's a new software just overwhelming at first but it was pretty damn cool because of the features in it i am kind of sad though because when i tried the effects on the effects panel i couldn't render those my PC couldn't handle rendering it. I think my highlight here is asking for my classmates to render for me. They were really kind to try it, but their pieces couldn't also handle the effects that I've added. So yeah, shout out to all of you guys who tried helping me. Please check out my first song ever release made possible by my final split and also with Carlo. Thank you very much for singing this song for me and if i didn't have this music video speed i might have not released this i will try to sing the second verse this is our next elective package design and this was the same prompt three months later but it was pretty fun to create package design so i didn't mind the same prompt i took this one as my thesis topic here 
at my fourth year, I really loved this course. And we got the same professor here from my other elective. The difference here is that we've got physical mock-ups. Literally printed it. We have an on-site defense. Our group mates are so good at rendering for packaging. My highlight was print testing it. One of our mistakes, Denise and I, was not having a laptop on standby so that we could edit it. So what we did was ask one of our group mates to fix it while we are the ones who are printing it. It was really an exhausting but collaborative day. I felt like I was the designer, I was the manufacturer, and the client in one day. I love creating packaging design on foods. So what I did was Fibisco chocolate cookies, one of my favorite snacks as my final split. And it was really fun to think about ways how can I update my beloved snack into a wonderful snack. Package design, just do you want this, bro? Can't help it. I love it. For PEM2, this is the last production for Electronic Media course and we got two professors here and it was difficult to keep up on who I shall ask first because we had internet connectivity issues during the SEM and I don't know who to ask. The class is all about video editing in Premiere and creating scripts and storyboards for media. I'm partial on this course it's like love hate because my piece couldn't render everything so this was the time that i couldn't create original content for my youtube channel but i posted my plates here at my youtube channel my highlight here was my art date with al because i hit two goals for that which is doing the plate and meeting him for like the very first time. I love the fact that the deadline for the finals was June. And I also hated the fact that the deadline was June. It was frustrating to create one more plate because we thought that our last plate before that is our finals plate. So we were bamboozled. It was kind of a love-hate relationship in video editing because I've got the YouTube burnout. Yeah, it is so real, but I'm starting to really, I'm starting to go into it again. And yeah, it's been pretty cool to just, we got minor courses like literature and an elective again, but it's minor for environmental science. I don't like our professor there, so let's leave it at that. But I had the most fun in literature because it's another art form that I really like which is creating poems and stories plus we were interpreting other literary works from writers. I think that was my highlight for literature because I had fun group mates. Our professor is pretty nice. For my internship at ATI for 200 hours and it was really fun. And what I did there was video editing because I'm in ISD. It was overwhelming at first because it's a new environment, but they are very welcoming since they also have an official internship program called SYIP. You'll even get allowance there. So yeah, if you want to try, you can research it. What are my expectations in fourth year? I just hope I pass. Third year had me realize that grades don't actually matter in the workforce because work ethics are more important than the grades. And after all, this fourth year will be the culmination of everything that I have learned from first year to fourth year and I have to do my thesis solo. I think what I fear the most is doing everything independently. I hope that I won't be clueless 
during this year. But if I am clueless, I hope that people can empathize with me because it gets a little overwhelming, especially on side classes every other week or so. I just hope I'll do fine. I also want to meet my classmates and batchmates more during this year because it's literally the last one that I am going to be in USD and six years will come in an end. I hope that I'll graduate soon. No, I didn't forget this and totally recorded this at midnight, but yeah, let's proceed to answer these questions. Is it pressuring being surrounded by creatives, especially in your course or program? Because I am slowly getting pressured. Yes, I am pressured almost all of the time. But when I think about it, I shouldn't be pressured. I should learn more from my peers. I think that is the pretty thing about doing art in advertising arts because it's supposed to be a collaborative experience so even though i get intimidated by them i just try to absorb and learn through their mistakes or through their learnings as well i try to accept that we have strengths and weaknesses what's your favorite art piece you've made this year i have less art pieces during this year because you know i was busy with research what i really love the most is my research plate ironically when i answered the first question well if you compared it to uh, my other group mates artworks it would look not nice so i had like 82 on my grade here in this artwork even though it's a low grade for me i vibe with it because i pushed myself in my perspective there and character design and um, color choices so everything in here is basically experimental but i think it's a serve it's an experimental serve this is the last question from Denise. Do you have new learnings that you applied to your individual art style this year? Heart and miss you. I miss you too. And the answer is that I learned the most, I think, digitally because I have new breakthroughs in digital world while, you know, I use shortcuts more and I am more familiar with the softwares because Adobe has different programs but they have like the same basis on the effects and everything. So I think when I am starting to use the other programs such as After Effects and Animate, I have also begun to be better in Photoshop than I was before and I think that affects my art style as an artist because I'm improving my art digitally and that is what we did more during third year than traditional art. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day ahead of you baby. Yeah. Subscribe and like if you wanna baby. Yeah. Bye.